Good afternoon. This is Peggy Carter. I'm coming today. This is Super Soul Sunday. I'm coming to encourage somebody along the way today uh, that may be going through a tough time, that may be feeling a little down, going through life challenges. I just want to encourage somebody to look up. Because if you can ever look up, you can get up. You must realize that God does not put no more on you than what you and I can bear. Sometimes the load seems so heavy because of the way we're carrying it. The Word of God states, Cast all your cares upon Him, for He careth for you. And if you know that God cares for you, you can cast all your cares upon the Lord because the Lord will strengthen you. The Word of God says, Be still and know that I am God that I will be exalted among the nation. What we got to realize, one pastor say heathen. We're not talking about heathen in the world. We're talking about those heathen thoughts that we sometimes have. Sometimes those thoughts come in our minds and they hinder us from being who God wants us to be. And sometimes those namesayers, those daysayers that we sometimes listen to, that inner dialogue that we sometimes have within ourselves, is because they talk us right out of where we need to be. God is saying that he has given us everything that we need to be great. The key is how great do you want to be? In the presence of the Lord is fullness of joy. We have to be still and know that God is within us. The scripture says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Seek ye first the kingdom of God means seek the Christ mind within Christ consciousness, Christ expanded consciousness. Righteousness means the right use of God's word. How do I have the right use of God's word? By leaning on the Lord. There's a song say, lean on the Lord. The scripture says, in all our ways, acknowledge him, acknowledge spirit. And it will direct our path. Lean not to your own understanding. Sometimes when we lean to our own understanding, we have a tendency to get crossed up, to get mixed up, to get messed up. But if we hear the voice of God, the inner dialogue, if we go to the Holy Spirit and say, Holy Spirit, your words say that my steps will be ordered in you, that you delighted in me. That you will make my way prosper. That whatever I put my hand to, it shall prosper. We have to believe that in such a way that what God has said about you is true. And I'm not saying life don't happen. I'm not saying we don't have life challenges. I'm not saying life issues don't show up. I know it show up. I'm dealing with some things right now. But I do know where my faith is. And there's a difference between knowing and believing and hoping. I know my name is Peggy. Nobody can change that because that's what I know to be a fact. But when you know for sure what God has told you and you become so adamant about that in your heart, you don't let other people push you in a corner and try to get you to discredit who God say you are. You are everything that God say you are. And you have to believe that. Believe that what God has said and created you to be, you made wonderfully and fearfully in His image, that God didn't make no jump. I can share a personal testimony with you. September of last year, I was diagnosed with colon cancer. It took me for a loop. My whole world changed. I felt like this was the end for me. I went and had the surgery in October. October having the surgery, other things happened to me. I had to have a bag placed upon me. And sometimes you feel like, God, you know, why this happened to me? And I had got in a state of depression. I'm being transparent to you today. And I was like, God, every time I would fix the bag, my daughter would fix the bag, my children would help me with the bag, the bag would leak again. And I just wanted to give up. But God saw fit to keep me here a little longer. And I, clean, I came very close to death. And I still have the bag. But what I'm saying is I had to get comfortable in who I was.
and knowing that God had me here for a reason. I'm saying this today and you might want to feel sorry for me, but don't feel sorry for me because I realize everybody's on their own journey. They're on their own path. And if you can hear anything I'm saying today is this. Trust your process. Knowing that God did not bring you this far to leave you because he said he will never leave you nor forsake you. He'll be with you to the end of the world. So be encouraged and know that God has you covered front and back. God has everything that you need and God will always take care of you. So I'm saying, be encouraged. Hold your head up high. Knowing that the best is yet to come. What God has said about you, you always say this, and I'm telling you to say this. If it's not true about God, it can't be true about you. And there is not a spot that God is not.